I have hit record on the camera. Oh, have you? Yeah. Because right. I want to catch it up all the way. One whole year. Have we got a cake? No. Can we get a cake? Has been, have been. A year. A one whole year of has been. Where would you like to start then? I think we should start at the very beginning. Start at the beginning. Start at the very beginning. Oh, hello there. Lovely to see ya. Third floor. Okay, I'll start. There's a man here to see you. What? Hello, my friend. What time do you call this? You don't get these expertise for free. How can I afford to take my family to Disneyland? Oh no! There won't be any dogs involved, will there? No! Not that one! Time in like to Yorkshire! A what? Morning, then. Shut the book up. Can't you see I'm talking to camera? Ah! No, don't be silly. We are the delightful Dawncaster dudes. We may be done. Did you change your hat? Don't question the hat. John Lammer. <laughs> oh, your time's up, sir. Flipping muscles. Same time again next week. But good night to you on it for. Sleep well. <laughs> this is no sponsor for Blackpool Sea Life Centre. Singing lesson with Evelyn Gonzalez. Lovely to see ya! I'm Evelyn Gonzalez, but you can call me Evelyn, as I'm not so speedy anymore. Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh. It's not based on anyone, this character, but has elements. It has elements of others. Good. Anyway, what sort of level of singing do you think you're at? Low level, medium level, high level! I doubt you're quite at my level, as I was on Broadway, you know. I mean, I think my favourite bit in the singing lesson is just when you pop up behind me. No. Oh, I have many times worked on those stages since the age of four, when I was a Broadway baby. Because every time that comes, I forget it's there. And it catches me off guard every single time I watch it. It was the hands and the, uh, the other hands coming out. slap hurt quite a lot. Yeah. And the, the zoom in on the plug socket to show it was a, a classic joke that she's not been playing anything. Keith. Keith. Just Keith. Oh, Kathy! Hello. Kathy, lovely to see you! When we did the circle shot of um, Seb's POV going. There's no business like show business and no business, uh, yeah! It was Adam having to hide behind a table <laughs> so that he couldn't be seen just sat there. There's no business like show business and no business I go! And that took a few times to get right. There's no business like show business I no business. Yeah. Another favourite moment of mine is the, uh, the pianos. This stage was my school, darling. Just lying on Lying on many different piano. Fagan was my teacher. You gotta pick a pocket or two, boys. How many pianos do you have? <sighs> Julie Andrews taught me to sing The Hills Are Alive with the sound of music. How can we make this shot funny? I'm like, there is three pianos in this room. We can get it to lounge on all three. And again, that was only something added in when we went into the room. It was. Favourite poster from the singing lesson. It's probably Cats. Cats for me is my favourite. Just, it looks terrifying. I'm nothing like Evelyn either.
so when we first got the camera, we just took a bunch of photos of each other. Um, and I just used those to shove on different posters. That's why Evelyn doesn't look <laughs> like <laughs> Evelyn. <laughs> this one for me was, because it was one of our early ones we filmed, I wasn't used to the filming stuff, so it will, there's a lot of bloopers of me getting a lot of the lines wrong. When I was a Broadway baby, oh, I forgot my line. Or for just completely forgetting the lines before I even start speaking. Jazz, take four. Line. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should go, you'd love it. There we go. Even though I wrote it, I should probably know the lines. But... Oh well. Oh, Kathy, lovely to see you. I'm so oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, Kathy, love oh, okay. Go oh, again. <laughs> Your one and only line, and I cut you off. Job centre, sir. Ah, job, job centre. Center. Well. It was an awful room to film in because obviously the wind. Oh. That is not dubbed over, that is genuinely the noise of the room. It was the worst weather you'd ever get. <coughs> <laughs> Middle aged. Grumpy. I hated that jumper as well, it was so itchy. But it looks funny. It was dirty as well. We should have washed that. We yeah, <laughs> we didn't we? I don't know why we did. Second hand as well. Female security, yeah, no. My little part in the job centre was... Smelly old man. Smelly man. Mainly because of the smell. You also made me laugh in the first take. Yeah, the first take of that was unusable because of Michael's laughing. Now I know I get a lot of weirdos in it, this one's really for you. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite part from the job centre isn't even what was in the script, it was the little trailer we did that was just me taking the piss. Hiya, I'm Patricia Wilcock and this is my lonely heart advert. If you'd like a woman who knows what she's doing with the male genitalia, I'm not for you. Most of my shots are actually from the day after Michael's, and I had to sneak in and become Michael. I wore the outfit and everything, and I was Michael's arm when he uh, goes to shut the box. That's my arm. Right, maybe not for that then. There's whole takes of me reading all the lines as to Seb for his opposite shots. Oh, hiya, Tommy Gammon. How's the family gammon business? The camera died on the first day, so we had to go back the, the day after to finish it. And Michael was at work, I think. No, oh, that's a shame. Did your last job at the Quavers packing factory not work out for you? We didn't film the shots one after another, so we just did all of Michael's stuff and then all the batteries died, so Seb only had a few shots. So we had to do them again. And they were lacking. They were lacking at best, sorry, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm joking, Seb, I'm joking. There won't be any dogs involved, will there? I think it's just the, um, there won't be any dogs involved, will there? Won't be any dogs involved? <laughs> yeah, that one for me was up there. Oh, how you Tommy Gammon? How's the family Gammon business? Not great, thanks. I don't care. Thanks. I didn't think you did. And then filming at the actual job centre. <laughs> Security was slowly getting closer to us. A very depressing shot. It was a really, there was two dogs, two dogs that were just left outside the job centre, which made it, I think, more depressing. Quite a weird one that I didn't write it, and yet again I'm the big part in it. You are, because I didn't like it. I must say. No, there's nothing there. Wow. No, no, we wrote it for you, Mike. No. Uh. Originally, it was meant to be a man, obviously, um, and then we just went, why not make it a woman? Cold. Alright. Hey, that was 
that would turn up. Okay, right, Michael. Yeah. An unexpected guest has appeared. What? Hello, my friend. Hello. Well, I mean, he was slightly based off... He was. <laughs> ...someone who just randomly came up to us one day. <laughs> Me and, um... Sebastian. Not both beautiful Birmingham boys. Yeah. It's nothing like the original person. No. I think the original idea was closer to Seb's mother. Yeah, they sort of merged. <laughs> But it was again one of the very first sketches we wrote, and it was one that had many different versions. No, don't be silly. We are the delightful Doncaster dudes. But I think we got the best version of it in the end. There is a few mistakes in Constantine, because we had a little break part way through. And cause it's very hot, because I was in a, a full turtleneck jumper. No, lonely London lads. I folded the neck of a turtleneck down during the break. And I just forgot to fold it back up. So for the second half of the sketch, his turtleneck's folded down a bit. I have not seen her since that day. It's just how, how hot I was in that coat. I've got my line. <laughs> nice. No! He is from Birmingham! I looked at the camera. Very good. <laughs> that was heavy. It was like a proper fur coat. And I was sweating. Our best of friends. Stuff. Sebastian, are both the beautiful Birmingham boys. I didn't say the first line right. <laughs> the frog the, puppet the show. The frog puppet show. Recording just <laughs> kind of, no, no, I only just started, so just kind of play around. I think she should, maybe just, I don't think we should use the tree. No. Because I remember we were sat in the library getting ready to, trying to find these pictures. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Just like looking at pictures of Renee, Renaissance, Renaissance frogs. Frogs, Renaissance background. Renaissance women, women, men. And weirdly, that puppet show was a last minute addition, wasn't it, sir? Yeah, because you were going to do it like a live action thing in Avon Park, and then we just went, no. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I remember you saying, coming up with the idea, and we were like, okay, this sounds interesting, but when you set it all up, it made perfect sense. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, huh? Ribbit. My favourite moment in that sketch is probably the Sea Life Centre stuff. How can you forget our fun trip to Blackpool Sea Life Centre, where admission price is £22.50, but as we booked online and well in advance, it only cost us £15. What a great saving we made. Where he's going through all the Sea Life Centre um, little bits. Me in undersea tube. Me in undersea dome. Me undersea scuba diving. We've never been to Blackpool. No, we should, we should all go. I'll take Constantine to Blackpool Sea Life Centre. This is no sponsor from Blackpool Sea Life Centre. What's your favourite bit from an unexpected guest? Mr. Pickles in bed. Good night, Mr. Pickles. Oh, good night, Sebastian. Sleep well. With the little glasses on. I was also looking at Michael for a bit. <laughs> Three My eyes are here. I know they are. Mr. Three, Pickles. two, one. Just a picture of Seb falling when I was, uh, it looks like this, and then his face just goes, whoom, swivels down. And usually, but not always, wears clothes. He looks like this. I think that was oh, one yeah. of my favourite bloopers. That's a great blooper, that. Sebastian Brown. Well, I never. You may resume. Uh, <laughs> Simon says, wave your hand. In the air. Oh well, I'm not one to brag about my Broadway career. Oh, you just wait. Nothing should compel you to do that, you little pervert. Did I say you could come out of there? Spaghetti bolognese. Where's my small ornate claw? It were a dandy for the dinner ladies. A what? No, we don't wash clothes. Female driver.
Wall of Big, Black, Blue, Red, Death Industry. Oops. Good night, Mr. Pickles. Oh, Stephen, turn up the light. Olive oil. <laughs>